In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? <laughs> Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Okay. Now then. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. No. Oh. I shall be waiting. Jetzt auf einmal doch. Hm. Alles klar. Gut, ich gehe mal davon aus, dass ziemlich jeder Schrank hier. Yo, läuft! Zieh ein Portal auf, was erstmal alles in sich reinsaugt. Schwarzes Loch mäßig. Junge, Junge. Edel, du hast ein Problem. Stell dich mal vor, du musst nichts... Danach, jedes Mal, wenn die verschwindet, musst du hier alles wieder aufräumen. Ach, das hatte ich doch schon mal. Ich nicht. Oh. Green. Ah, ja. Gut. Scars healed nicely. Gut. Scars healed? Warte. Off tide. Was auch immer. Ah. Ah, das hatten wir doch auch schon mal. Na, okay. Waren auf jeden Fall gute. Boah, da war eine Menge drin. Ähm. Haben wir hier noch irgendwo. Oh, ja, nochmal eine Zeichnung von ihr. Warum hat die mehrere Zeichnungen? Oh, habe ich die. Die habe ich doch nicht übersehen, oder? Ah, ich hätte das einfach so machen können. Wäre einfacher gewesen. Ähm, Ambassador. Ambassador Varatra. Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events. The war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. Klingt gut. Oh. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. 
I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoys, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. Oops. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. Just... Um... That admiration I hear in your voice? Radovid is our foe, but I cannot deny he is clever. He played us for fools, particularly dense ones at that. Oh. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Mm -hmm. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skelliger has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet. King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Nicht verkehrt. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships. Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Oh. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. Klingt gut. Klingt gut. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times. Trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm -hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is. And Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, 
We've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. Huh. I advise you well, avoid him. Das war doch schon mal nützlich. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Whatever, man. Whatever. Komm ich da raus? Ich hab keine Ahnung. Sicher, wie komme ich hier raus? Der Rest müsste alles durchsucht sein. Ah, da ist er ja schon. By returning my things. Dafür bräuchte man eine Kiste, nicht ein Beutel. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. Civilization ends at this capsule. Okay, wir machen Tam Tam. Was hat der Plan? Oh, da ist eine Mission. What? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Whatever, spielen wir um fünf. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Ich habe eine neue Karte, also Welcome to Drag Builder. Drag Builder. Custom Decks, Dispatch Man Decks. Okay. Northern Realms. Decks for each other. Four, four factions. Aha. Uh -huh. Wins around and then it's in a draw. Grants an extra card after every victim's. Tour is round. So it's who takes the first turn for a battle and keeps a random unit card on the battlefield after each round. Monsters, okay. Fault as King of the Maria. Ich denke, das ist Leader. Press X to Leader. Okay. Fault as King of the Maria. <laughs> okay. Das sind meine Karten. Das sind meine. Also can you have 10 special cards? Ah, oh, I have not even all the cards. I take currently cards short as indicated by the number. You must move to the next card from the left side to the current deck right side. Can you the 8? Eh? Kann ich die nicht? Aber okay, wir können ja nochmal gucken. Wir können zum Beispiel... Change Leaders, kann ich... Oh, Rechtsklick, okay. Back. Ich weiß nicht, ich, ich. Keine Ahnung. Ich muss weiter so mal. Hat enough unit cards. Dammit. Äh, wie kriege ich die rüber? Wie kann ich die? Max. Oh, okay. Change to add a card. Or 
move card. Oh, add, okay. Add a card. Execute deck builder. Uh, total cards in deck. Throw move cards. Special cards, conditions, no more. Corey. Dummy. Okay. Whatever. You will go first. Choose a card to redraw. Figure whether boss. Noch an zum Neuziehen. Hm. Und starts. 20 gegen 19 Karten. Your turn. Uh, mal sehen. Um, starten wir mit Soul Charm. Warum oh, auch nicht? Opponent's turn. 10er Bogenschütze. Um, Set strength on ranged combat cards. So, jetzt hat er nur noch einen Punkt. Das heißt, ich werde mich jetzt von. Oh. Okay. Ich halte mich jetzt erstmal von ranged combat fern. Bleib da bei 5. Vielleicht hätte ich noch warten sollen. Oh, 10, was? Junge, Junge. Nicht gut. Combat Cards. Das geht ganz. Okay. Um. Wow, das könnte echt übel werden. Aber das war. Opponent's turn. 14 und in der Reihe. Ich hätte kein Problem, den auf 2 zu setzen. nochmal gesteigert. Dann <lacht> spielen wir die Wetterkarte. What the hell? Ranged? Was? Was? Das war dämlich. Space hold is pass, okay. Ich glaub kaum, dass ich das noch wirklich gewinne. Ja, yeah, I found it on the ground. Opponent's turn. Wirklich jetzt? Das ist echt grad. Ich habe noch zwei Karten, er hat noch drei. Passt. Ja. Warum sollte er auch nicht? Hat 
Ich brauche Gepasch. Wie kann ich? 